As long as you've gotten into the sub-5 range. What's up, home smack? Also, you've got to go Strider. Cut the five! Join the Strider Legion. Pretty happy with my 417 for now. You're saying that because you know I probably won't be there. What if, like, somebody holds me in, like, a video call or something? We teleconference the Strider learning. Is that, like, something we can do? We could, like, put a tablet of me in, like, one of the, um... Things. The segways. I could segue up to you in the practice room via tablet. You just have like this box right here on it. You'd have to put the hat on it though. That that's the only thing. Just have a segue with an orange hat wandering in the practice room. <laughs> Uh, how will we get another hat? Hats in the Belfry has a nice orange hat that I've been considering as a backup hat. I have to be there. Alright. Yeah, that was a two pause jump. I'm always surprised. Shocked. Also surprised, but mostly shocked how far you can actually jump in this game. to like pick a day during SGDQ and I, I acknowledge that it, we might need to schedule to really pick a day but pick the day I will teach you a thing and maybe I'll fly out for that day Don't be too fooled by it, like, 
The counter says 16, but there's really been like two, if even, completed runs in these splits. So it's like, it hasn't really had enough time. What's up, Sage Hero? I think I saw you at, at, at AGDQ. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody with Sage Hero in their name. And I was like, dude, I remember that name. Ooh, graphics. Wow. Alright, we continue. That was Destin once I picked up that health. Uh, I mean, it, it's split gold, certainly, but it's like single digit attempts of gold. Even if, though, it says uh, 14 up there, 16, whatever. It's not, like, enough for me to be, like, yeah, on it yet. This is actually my PB, though. That, 3122 is my actual Rockman 2 normal, uh, difficult PB. We'll go with Pyrite. I kind of wish more people would say it's a Pyrite split. Pyrite being fool's gold if you're sitting there wondering what the hell we're talking about. I'm not at the point where this game is impossible. I'm at the point where this game is just annoying. Why? We were, we ha we were going so well, He Man. I think I got like 30s for the first half of that fight, and then a lot of 60s afterwards. Zoda's name looking out at me. I've got to play faster. still a thing. No double hit, but still a good fight. Aw, oh, man, we're gonna be red. Are we gonna be red by the double hit? 
I can live with that. Body 84, thank you for the host. See the second hopper. Nice. been thrilled with the 31 in uh, Rockman too, but I feel like I can push this lower. I feel further if I was playing on two normal, as uh, the category is called. I could cut the 30, because I have a 30-11 there. Let's get the good wood. Let's get the good wood. Yeah, I haven't added in any Wily Zips yet. I can do a uh, Wily Zip, the Wily 2 Zip, but um, if you don't do Wily 1 strats properly, it's faster to do Wily 2 the normal way. I completely didn't even try. That's terrible. Wasn't even thinking about the mini zip in the middle of all that.
Good wood. Yo, learning the wood zip is the most rewarding thing ever. Because it looks so utterly ridiculous, and it's not that bad. So we're going to lose a chunk of time here because I didn't skip the third dog. Took two attempts to set up the zip. Eh. <laughs> Keep going. Just on to the next one. Zipless strats like this one. Nice, we're still on it. We're good. The hardest part is probably gr switching the heat. I've been nailing that jump lately. After that, my thumb is in a very awkward position on the D-pad, and I don't like this section as a result. Because the whole time I'm thinking, thumb, don't you dare slip off the D-pad. I know, hardest jump in the game. Got him. That's a late split. Let's pretend it's 6.9. Nice. Like I said earlier, I need to work on actually doing the zip there, here, because it would save, like, at least seven seconds, I think. Interesting.
Nice. The dragon's not that bad. Um, the problem is if you try and do the bottom strat, you're liable to die, and that's baby strats to get on the top block. Yeah. The bottom block is faster, though. And the normal strat I know here is Leaf Shield and you do it properly so you don't get any drops, but I always get a lot of drops. The trade-off here is I'm now using a lot more item ones than uh, the normal route does. So that's why, like, you can look at this as a a strategy to get through this part of the game, but it is certainly not the fastest. Leaf Shield is the better way to do it. Uh, the only trick is if you do get a lot of drops from the Leaf Shield. Like, if you do the Leaf Shield properly, the drops are actually in the floor and they zip away. So you never pick them up and you never get slowed down. But if you keep picking them up, that's an alternative. So from there, you know, we get into the lack and mill discussion. Do you want to get a reasonable time faster and be competitive in a race, maybe? Or do you want to get the overall better time and learn all the perfect strats immediately? Mm, close to the spikes. Oh god, I think I'm good here. Nice. We, we beat the stage, that's the thing. I have a feeling I've only beaten uh, the, these stages once in these splits. That's what you want. There's an out of bounds zip here. I don't want that. That one's easy, just make sure Mega Man's heel is like off the back edge just a little bit. I actually did have it, I zipped A tile and then I hit the wrong button. I zip the tile. That's more than zero tiles. I 
I don't trust it, and I want to finish this run. Quick Boomerang is the weapon of choice in this hallway, by the way. Machine's gonna be interesting. I might use heat on the first phase to save metal. Sorry about being a little quiet here, it's go time. I want to risk the zip and I don't. What's up, Profection? This is the part where we have to wonder, though, because th this, um, these splits haven't been run enough. Do these splits have the zip? Did I go for the zip and miss the zip? I don't know. Don't do it! No, you're supposed to encourage me to take stupid risks that will save a few seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Yo, 30. PB pace, don't ruin PB pace. That might even be a 54. Do I want to keep the 55 for the meme? This, this really depends on is there a 55 on the leaderboard already? There's a 56. There's no 54. Okay. Where am I on here? No, it's any percent normal. There we go. Yo, get bopped, Colonel Faso. I should actually play Dark Souls. Like, I think I got it, actually, surprisingly, on the suggestion of GDQ chat in, like, 2012 or something, and just never played it. I don't think I can do anything more tonight. This was good. This was good. Ooh. that going? I think we're gonna watch Fred. We're gonna watch Fred, the uh, creator of the Zelda randomizer, in a randomizer race against, uh, against Adirondack Rick. Adirondack Rick, pretty cool guy by most accounts, pretty cool guy, but he's not Fred. So every time Fred does something crazy, make sure you say, FRED! That's just what you're supposed to do. And somebody's watching this saying, no cab, no, you're supposed to say, FRED, whenever an item is in its vanilla location. But uh, you, you, you just, just do that part too, it'll, it'll be okay. Yo, that means we get on the classic Mega Breakdown this week. Hi, right, Lasso. Yeah, we're just gonna let the credits roll and then we're hosting this. In fact, I'm just gonna host it. Thanks for watching. And if you're still here be for whatever reason, you should go to Speed Gaming.